okay so here we have kcp 2022 and we are looking at uh, algebra for the past uh, kcp past papers in in this paper we had five questions question number 28 um question number 29 30 31 and question number 36 so we had a total of five questions in this paper for algebra and we are going to look at uh, all the five questions so at this point uh, please remember to subscribe so hit the, the button below and then we will get started we started question number 28 this one we are given um what is the value of m plus n squared over 2t minus 1 and then you are given m is 3 t is m minus 1 and n is t plus 5. so we have m plus n squared over 2t minus 1 okay now if we substitute we know that m we are given m is 3 t is m minus 1 so that would be 3 minus 1 which is 2 so t will be 2 and then n is t plus 5 so 2 plus 5 will be 7 then we can substitute so here will be uh, 3 plus n squared that is uh, 7 squared which is 49 okay over 2t 2 times 2 that would be 4 minus 1 okay then we work out this so this will be 3 plus 49 uh, that's 52 over 3 okay then we can divide this 52 divided by 3 okay so this will be 1 cos of 3 if we subtract we are left with the 22 goes 7 times cos of 21 and we have a remainder of uh, 1 okay so it will be 17 and 1 over 3 therefore the correct answer is c now in this question it's testing whether you know how to uh, uh, substitute uh, to substitute when you are given an algebraic expression okay um, let's go to question number 29 this question we have let me make it uh, a little bit bigger okay so we have peter has x shillings maria has four times as much as peter ali has seven times has seven less than maria how much money do they have all together okay so we have three people so we have peter then we have Maria and we have Ali. So Peter has X shillings. Maria has four times as much money as Peter. So four times will be four X. Right? Then Ali has seven less than Maria. If Maria has 4x, Adi will be 4 minus 7. The question is, how much money do they have all together? So what we are looking for is for the total, right? So we are going to add all of them together. So it will be x plus 4x plus 4x minus 7 and then we can simplify 
x plus 4x is uh, 5x plus 4x is 9x. Okay, minus 7. So this is x. Let me let me write it better. So this is x. So we will have 9x minus 7. So we cannot simplify further. This is the farthest that we can go. So this will be the correct answer, which is uh, C. Okay. So be careful on the signs because you can see you have 9x plus 7 as well. But remember, Ali had 7 less. So therefore, it was a minus here. So in this question, basically, it's a testing whether you know how to solve. First, whether you know how to form, not to solve, but to form. Uh, to form an algebraic uh, expression and whether you know how to simplify. Okay, so that is what that question is about. Let's go to question number 30. Make it a little bit bigger as well. In this question, we are told a teacher shared 20 books among Kevin, Jane, and Alan. Jane got twice as many books as Kevin. Alan got four books less than Kevin. How many books did Alan get? Again, we have three people. We have, uh, we have Kevin, we have Jane, and we have Alan. Okay, and then we are, we are given the total number of books. So the total books that were given is 20. Okay. Um, so Kevin, we are told uh, Jane got twice as many books as Kevin. So let's say that Kevin got X number of books. So Kevin got X number of books. Jane got twice as many. So Jane got 2X because it's twice as many as Kevin. And Alan got four books less. Okay? Not the word less. So it will be uh, four books less than Kevin. So if Kevin got X books, Alan got four X minus four. Okay. So at this point we have um, we have formed an algebraic expression on what each one of them got. So we can go ahead and solve it. We form an equation. So the total number of books will be x, which is for Kevin, plus 2x, plus uh, x minus 4. And the total we are given is 20. Okay. Now the next step, now we can solve. All right. Now we simplify this. x plus 2x is 3x plus x is 4x so 4x minus 4 is equal to 20 um, since you want to solve for x uh, we add 4 on this side and then we add 4 on this side so this one will be left with 0 so here we are left with 4x is equal to 24 and then we can divide both sides by 4, by 4, we are left with x, this will cancel out, and then by 4, 1, by 4, 6, okay, ah, I'm sorry, so this, this should be 6, by 4, 6, now the question is, how many books did Alan get? Now, X was the number of books Kevin got. Remember? So, Kevin will have uh, 6. Okay? 
um, 2x will be 2 times 6 for Jane so that will be 12 I then got x minus 4 so that is 6 minus 4 is 2 so I then got two books so the correct answer is a and if you add this total number they should give you 20 so that will be 6 plus uh, 12 is 18 plus 2 is 20 so that's how you know that um, you have gotten the correct answer um, so this question is a bit more advanced because it's testing whether you know how to both form form um, algebraic uh, equation and also where you can solve it Okay. you can so not the expression this one is an equation because you have an equal sign and you are given the total so whether you can form the algebraic equation and whether you can solve it as well um, so we go to the next question question number 31 this one we are supposed to find the value of y okay um, the value of y in the equation and the equation we are given is uh, 2y plus uh, 4 into brackets y plus 3 plus the brackets over 5 is equal to 12 and we are supposed to find the value of y so we have brackets so we are going to start by opening the brackets um, so this will be 2y plus 4 times y is uh, 4y plus 4 times 3 is 12 all of these over 5 is equal to 12 remember we open by multiplying what is inside the brackets by what is outside the brackets then we have a fraction here so in order to get rid of this fraction we have to multiply uh, by 5 remember uh, 2i is the same as uh, we can say it's over 1 and 12 with, uh, we can say it's over 1 okay now in order to to get rid of 5 we will multiply this by 5 and whatever you do here, we do the same here, we multiply by 5, and we do the same on this side, we multiply by 5, okay? So this will give us 5 times 2y is 10y, then the 5 will cancel out by 5, 1, by 5, 1. So we are left with plus 4y. Uh, plus 12 is equal to what is 12 times 5 60 okay so remember if there was another fraction maybe uh, 2 over 3 or something else we could have uh, found the LCM and then we multiply but since we had only 5 that's why we multiplied by 5 um, okay so let's go ahead and uh, simplify this or the workout. So this will be 10y plus 4y, uh, that's 14y plus 12 is equal to 60. Since we are solving for y, we need to take 12 on the other side or rather we can minus 12 on this side and then we minus 12 on this side so whatever you do on this side you do it on this side so here we minus 12 we are left with the 14 yeah 14y on this side 60 minus 12 is 48 okay and then now we can divide by 14 on both sides so that we are left with y okay so y will be 
we can divide here by 2 uh, by 2 this will be 7 this will be 24 right yep then we have let's see we will have 24 divided by 7 it will go three times uh, because of 21 and then you have a remainder of 3 so y will be 3 and 3 over 7 therefore the correct answer will be a yeah so this question is about solving just solving an algebraic equation but in order to get this question right you also need to have the concept of uh, working out uh, fractions and we are going to look uh, into that in another lecture um, but basically it will you need to know how to solve an algebraic equation because whenever you are given such you only want to be left with y or x or whichever letter that you are given and that is what that we are looking to solve and the last question which which was uh, question 36 we are given what is a quarter into brackets 2x plus 28y plus a third 9x minus uh, 6y and then the question is we are supposed to express in simplest form so this question is all about simplifying okay simplify since it doesn't have an equal sign okay so if something has an equal sign the mean uh, equal an equal sign like this one then we can solve it but since we it doesn't have an equal sign then we can only simplify um, so what we are given is uh, a quarter into brackets uh, 24x plus 28y plus a third 9x minus 6y okay now we have brackets remember we start by opening the brackets how do you do that we said you multiply what is inside the brackets by what is outside the brackets so this will be we can put it as so a quarter you multiply by 24x the answer you get you add again uh, this should be a quarter so 1 over 4 then again you multiply by 28y and then you do the same on this side it will be a third you multiply by 9x um, let me write it well so this is 9x minus um, let me close it then you have a third you multiply by 6y okay so then we can work out this uh, 24 divided by 4 is uh, 6 so we have a 6x hmm. I'm writing x in a funny way uh, let me do it the correct way so we have a 6 x plus 28 divided by 4 will be 7 y plus 9 x times a third will be 3 x minus be very careful with the signs the next one is a minus then uh, 6 y times a third will be 2 y okay and then now we can put uh, like terms together so they are called like 
terms. So we take a 6x and 3x. So this will be 6x plus 3x. Remember, the number will take the sign before it. Okay, the sign before. So 3x, it will be plus 3x. And then plus 7y. And then minus, this is a minus, 2y. Okay, then we can go ahead and uh, simplify further. So this will be 6x plus 3x, 9x plus 7y minus 2y is 5y. So we cannot simplify further because we don't have any more like terms. So the correct answer will be where is it B which is nine X plus five Y. So as I have said this question is all about um, simplifying algebraic uh, expression. So that comes to the end of the five questions that were in KCPE uh, 2022 and if you analyze them you see that you can either be uh, you can either be told you should or you should be knowing how to solve to form algebraic expression how to substitute how to substitute how to um, simplify and also how to simplify an expression or an equation and also now how to solve to solve for the unknown uh, so thank you for watching uh, remember again to uh, subscribe before you go to the next video and then also uh, you can reach out to us there is a phone number a text on uh, whatsapp uh, and then we are going to get in touch with you so the next lesson will be on kcpe 2021 and then we are going to look at how many questions uh, in algebra were in that paper Okay, see you in the next lesson.